changed the, the whole you know dimension of what was going on and demographic of everything you know um, and would, would that something like that affect your art as well oh good god yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 i mean well, well my dad my dad was the biggest inspiration he was the guy that got me into doing this he gave me my first camera at the age of eight you know and and that's where it all came from Dylan. that was you it know? that was when you liked oh yeah yeah that that i mean my dad was a, a happy hobbyist um, you know, and, and he taught me the kind of very, very basics of what we used to do together. Yeah. You know, and uh, I dedicated my last book. I released a book, um, new book last last year. I think it was last year, the year before. Sorry, for, forgive me. I lose track of time. Uh, entitled Ice Cream and Sun Cream, which I dedicated to my dad because um, what it, it actually was, the subject matter was uh, a fortnight's holiday in Norfolk. Because uh, when I was growing up as a little boy, along with my brother, yeah. that was a big deal. And my dad documented as much of our life as growing up as a family as could be done. And a time when photography is extremely rare and very expensive to do. But uh, the two big events of the year was Christmas and our fortnight's holiday, which we never ever missed. Yeah. And Dad would document that most of those uh, that I remember vividly were in Norfolk. Um, so when I moved there, I kind of looked at the idea of thinking, well, if I was to go on that holiday with my mum and dad and my brother now at this age, yeah. how would I see it and what would I shoot? So what I did, the project was two and a half years in the making, uh, and then I shot all these images documenting literally the setting off from home right the way through to the coming home yeah. but with a very very arty edge on the thing literally how i saw it uh, and then i released the book um which you can you can go and buy and see on my shop nickelliot.shop and it's entitled ice cream and sun cream and it's based around a fortnight's holiday in norfolk as a of us as a small lad and because uh, essentially what I remember at the start of it yeah. was I was an eight-year-old boy I shot it from the level of what an eight-year-old boy would see as in height you know yeah so it was literally through the eyes of an eight-year-old lad at the age I am now do you remember what the subject matter was when, when you were eight what was your first photograph your first ever photograph mm -hmm. that you took with this camera that was given to you by uh, my first photograph was um, on the pleasure beach the um, amusements on the prom at Great Yarmouth. Wow. And the, the guy is still there. It's a big light, uh, model yeah. of, I think, of a, of a pirate. And he kind of straddles a ride that runs through his legs. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, a, it's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, but it is, it's a great place. It's a, it's a wonderful place. Yeah. And I took a shot of that in the dark thinking that it was going to melt my face when I got the image out, you know, dev up, but yeah. it, it never came out. Because I shot it with flash, as you would do right. as an eight-year-old lad in the dark, but it needed time exposures and all this kind of stuff, you know, and, and needed to get a lot more technical. So I, I do remember, because I was so, so disappointed, it was a load of rubbish. Yeah. So do you think maybe that kind of pushed you onwards then that that first failure when you thought right i'm gonna i'm gonna tackle this and the next one is gonna be i'm gonna nail it oh yeah definitely i mean it, like i say the kind of art thing the whole creative side of, yeah. of my life has been spent you know literally studying artwork studying books legendary photographers you know bailey being the biggest influence on me from a from a, a photographer's point of view yeah but you know people like corbin and you know Excuse me, um, you know, Terence Donovan, them type of people, you know, massive, massive influence on me. In the 60s, that kind of period, the 70s, and of course then, Owen Artwork, which took the whole thing to another level altogether. Yeah. Dark Side of the Moon, etc. Oh, yeah, totally. So, um, when we talk about inspiration, then, do you, uh, is there a certain time of day where you're inspired, where you come up with your ideas? Do you have to do something? Do you have a muse, as they say? Some creative people have a muse? No, not really. I mean, do a lot of night stuff, um, that kind of thing, but I'm usually asleep when these, these concepts come. Yeah. But, you know, I'll, I'll go to places, and I'll, I'll walk by and think, oh, Christ, what a great door. I'll use that door mm. for something, or a wall, or whatever. You know, but no, not really. These things are, 
These are usually inspired by emotions or situations. You know, I'm going through a period at this time that I describe as my Ziggy period. Right. Because it fits very much with Bowie's change where he came out as Ziggy Stardust and then went into the David Bowie that we all really know. Yeah. But it was Ziggy that broke the guy, you know. And it was that kind of change of, of going into that place of where expression was on the highest part of his list, you know. And I'm very much in that kind of period. I'm moving. I've moved, you know, like literally stand on the glacier and it's moving along, that yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, you, you find yourself um, adapting, I suppose, yeah, yeah. way. Well, that's it. I mean, because of the changes that have gone on emotionally in my life over the past 12 months, mm. you know, it, it's moved the whole thing down, massively so. But, it, you know, I mean, for people like Phil Collins, it made, it made one of the the biggest selling albums of all time, No Jacket Required. Mm -hmm. You know, he went through the same kind of thing. And, and those kind of deep, deep, deep emotional problems or issues, they bring out something for, for an artist like me, it'll take you to another place altogether. It's a travel, it's a ticket to somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they, they do say that, don't they, with, uh, particularly with musicians. And I think it, it also applies in the art world that sometimes you do have to go to that dark place to come back and, and create arguably the best, work, the best work you've ever done. I totally agree. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, yeah, it is, it is a strange thing. And um, also on the subject of inspiration and, and ideas and uh, you're spoiled for choice in Boston with, with the landscape and the architecture and everything else. The um, uh, also I was talking to somebody. Um, I think it was this week about how you take everything for granted, don't you? You walk around, and sometimes you do when you live somewhere. Yeah, yeah, you're you're used to it, and you don't look up. And one day you might look up, and you see something different. And it's the same in in sometimes you need a photograph, you need that kind of medium to bring out something that's always been there. Yeah, definitely. But just seeing it in that context makes you appreciate it. Well. Oh, totally, totally. I mean, I, I've got to say, to go back to the Boston subject, I mean, I love the place. I haven't been here for a while, um, as you know, but uh, I mean, I come over here mostly to, to kind of, you know, when invited onto the station, which I love. Uh, but Boston, I think, is a fantastic place. Yeah, architecturally, and, and I think there's a vibe here. There, there really is, of a place unchanged, and long may that live. Absolutely, I'd, I'd agree with that. And, and where we're sitting in your new studio, fantastic, wonderful place. Well, it's, it's just such a, a lovely view, and of course the iconic stump is, in fact, wherever you go, you can see it. Do you know, I've never, I've never seen the stump. Have you? Only from a distance. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to go up. Yeah, yeah. I think it's three pounds. Has it gone up nowadays? I think it's three pounds. Is it? Three pounds get to the top. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. make sure you have a hearty breakfast, and uh, you don't die when you're halfway up. Really? Yeah. All steps? Oh, yeah. Emily. Uh, blimey, that's a, that's a question. I think it's, is it 360? Is it really? I, I need to look into it. Oh, that'd be worth yeah, it. Yeah, the afternoon. numbers fit with certain things. Okay, okay. Number of months, number of days yeah, yeah, yeah. a year. Yeah, like good. Like, yeah, mad for it. Yeah, he's got on Wikipedia. Far too many steps uh, for my liking, but uh, I'm sure everybody, everybody else would love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind a bit of that. Great view from the top, though, because you can see on a, on, a, on a clear day, you can see Lincoln Cathedral. Can you really? Yeah. I spend quite a bit of time in there, because I do a, a show over there. Other radio stations are there. <laughs> but you don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, so um, uh, that's it. You could maybe see the uh, oh, look, radio station <laughs> from the top of the stuff. <laughs> anyway. But you can see the cathedral. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, right, we're going to get into the community guide very shortly then, uh, and then